Welcome to the Piano of the Week. I'm Hugh Sung. And I'm Rich Gallicini. So Rich, we've got this beautiful piano in front of a very ugly wall. <laughs> yes, we do. Obviously, we're in our Germantown factory where we do all of our piano restoration. We have pianos that come in from around the world uh, for restoration, and this is a gorgeous instrument. But, you know, we're not looking to make the walls look gorgeous. <laughs> no, it reminds me of something. Yeah. A client once told me, as he was walking through here, you know, Julia Child's kitchen probably looks quite a mess when she's making <laughs> wonderfully delicious foods. I'd like to think that's us. There you go. Okay, right? so it's not yeah. really the, the kitchen, it's what comes out of the oven, right? Exactly. So I'm sitting in front of this beautiful Steinway Concert D. It is a nine foot or what, eight foot 11? Eight foot 11 and three quarters. quarters. Okay, yes. so it's almost a nine foot mm -hmm. concert. And this is a very standard size that you'll see in concert stages around the world. What's unusual, as you can clearly see, uh, I usually see this in black, mm -hmm. but this is a gorgeous walnut finish. Yes, it so is. So tell me a little bit about this piano. Sure. So as far as we know, uh, this has spent its entire life in a private home. Mm. And this is originally built in 1922 and was fully rebuilt less than 10 years ago. Ah, okay. And we've been using it now as a concert instrument. But let's go back a little bit further. Why are black concert grands most popular? It makes us look thin. <laughs> it's fashionably neutral. We can wear anything. Everything goes with black, right? No. <laughs> No, that's not it at all. But if we go back to the 1870s and 1880s, you will have seen fancy rosewood and exotic woods mm. in concert grands. It was part of the way to show off the craftsmanship of the company. But around the same time that it became popular for musicians to wear plain black tuxedos instead of very bright colors, greens and blues and reds in concert, that's the same time the piano kind of followed suit. So it wouldn't distract from this wonderful music. Ah, exactly. So it is unusual to see a wood finish Concert Grand. They're generally special order. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's let's hear what this piano sounds like. Yeah, please play. Sure, absolutely. Let me get myself in the position here. Let's see what I can dig up. You know, it, this is interesting. This, this, this particular piano has a really nice warmth to it. You know, it does. It, it, a lot of the concert pianos, of course, every concert piano has its own personality. This one, if I can say so, even though it's built for the stage, for me, it feels like it would fit perfectly in a home. It's just got a very nice, warm, there's power, but it's an intimate power. That makes sense. Yeah, and that all has to do with preparation and voicing. Ah, okay. So this piano we have had now for a little while, and we've used concert rental twice mm -hmm. for chamber music. Ah, well, that makes perfect sense. Right. You don't want the piano to overwhelm the other instruments. Exactly. So this, this is balanced and voiced perfectly for chamber music and for being a supportive role rather than the dominant role. But you, if you needed to, you could voice this piano to be the lead in an orchestra. I can feel the powers are sort of sitting there and back. You right, know, so. right. It's there to be had. There you go. Uh, but this is the way we've prepared it now. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much. My pleasure. For Cunningham Piano, I'm Hugh Sung. And I'm Rich Gallicini. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.